Hi, my name is Garrett Bridgens. I'm a teacher at Cottage Grove High School, and this is my internship implementation project, changing the focus to a growth mindset. Before I actually get into the specifics of my project, I think it's important to define what growth mindset is. Um, this is an idea that people believe that their most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work, that brains and talent are just the starting point. I think it's also important to define what the qualities of grit are, because I'm going to be talking a lot about grit today. Grit is goal-directedness. People know where to go and how to get there. People who exhibit grit also have motivation, having a strong will to achieve identified goals. They also have self-control. They avoid distractions and focus on the task at hand. They also have a positive mindset, embrace challenges, and they view uh, failure as just a learning opportunity. So now that we know uh, a little bit more about growth mindset and grit, let's talk more about what my, uh, the specifics of my project were. So my project was all about increasing student achievement by increasing the level of grit in students and changing classroom thinking and practices to that of a growth mindset. So how did I do that? Well, first off, we had a school-wide focus on um, grit and growth mindset this school year. The first thing is uh, we have this uh, program called advisory. It's like a homeroom for students. Students go to this class once or twice a month, and um, it's all about getting uh, students prepared to graduate. It helps them um, work through scheduling for classes in the future. But this year, we um, focused also on putting grit and growth mindset lessons into some of the advisory lessons that we, we taught in our classes. Um, in addition to that, students also took a grit survey that told them what their own levels of grit were. Um, this was a self-assessment, and then we also will provide some, um, or I will also provide some data on this um, that shows you kind of what the results of that were as I go through my presentation. There was also a district-wide and a school-wide focus on um, teaching uh, teachers about growth mindset in the classroom, what the terminology is, and what best practices are. And I'll talk a little bit about that more as I go through my, my presentation today. Um, finally, teachers put up classroom posters so students can start uh, seeing examples of grit in the classroom and uh, what um, growth mindset looks like in the classroom as well. And we also did video stories throughout the school year. We have a show called The Main Event that we show to all of the uh, students here at Cottage Grove High School. And we started to do specific stories that told um, real life stories about um, grit and growth mindset. So those are just a few of the examples of the things that we did on a school wide level. The next thing was that we also did, um, or I also focused my project on this program called Freshman Focus. Freshman Focus is an after school program for students who are struggling with their academics. Students are placed into this. It's a three day a week program. They go on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and they go in after school and they have to work on their academics to improve their grades. Um, but with my project, I also started to incorporate grit and growth mindset mini lessons into the eight week program. So once a week they would get a mini lesson um, about grit and growth mindset. They, would, they also did some self assessment to kind of um, look a little further about what their own levels of grit are and maybe where some of the deficiencies are. Um, they set goals for themselves about trying to raise their grades in subject areas where they are struggling in. And we also did weekly check-ins and discussions um, as a group um, every time we met together to do our mini lessons. And finally, teachers assess students on their level of work ethic. Um, at the start of the eight-week program, teachers um, were given an evaluation. Um, and at the end, uh, teachers were given the same evaluation to um, grade the students on the work ethic in their classes. And I'll show you some of the results of that as I go through my presentation today. Some of the factors contributing to the need for this project. Um, first of all, on a national level, um, the data on grit concludes that the grittier kids um, were more significant, or excuse me, were significantly more likely to graduate or to be successful at something. And this was developed from a psychologist named Angela Duckworth. She's done a lot of studies on this. And every time, the best indicator of success was that um, she would find that students who were grittier were more successful at things. And that was anything from jobs, uh, military success, spelling bees, and in education. And so that's on a national level, it just shows that um, the data is saying if you are grittier, you're going to be more successful at things. On a more focused level, though, at Cottage Grove High School, um, the high rate of D's and F's amongst freshmen contributed to the need for this project. They had the highest levels of D's and F's from any uh, 
grade um, in the school. And then also, and, and I'll get into this a little bit later in my presentation, the freshmen um, as a whole had an average grit score that was one of the lowest out of all the grades. Um, and, and, uh, and finally, the last need for contributing to the need for this pro uh, project was that we've had a district-wide focus this year on developing a growth mindset. We had a lot of professional development, we've brought in guest speakers, we've had book clubs um, that um, all centered on the idea of developing growth mindset and grit in the classroom. My IIP SMART goals, I had two of them this year. Um, my first one was that during the 2014-2015 school year, 80% of the ninth grade students in the freshman focus intervention program will improve their grades from D's and F's to C's or better. So that was my first goal. My second goal is that during the 2014-2015 school year, ninth grade students in the freshman focus intervention program will improve their overall work ethic at least one point on a four point scale. Um, and I have four different levels on this four point scale. Ineffective would be a one, developing would be a two, effective would be a three, and accomplished would be a four. And this was all measured, measured by the um, student, or excuse me, the teacher surveys that, that I gave at the beginning, at the end of the freshman focus. As I went through uh, this project, I had a lot of uh, formative assessments that I could use that helped guide uh, my project and helped me change things along the way. Um, the first thing was the DNF data. Right here is the DNF data from the 2013-2014 school year, so that would be last year, and it was third trimester, so it was at the very end, the spring term, um, and 103 of the 190 freshman students accounted for 272 Ds and Fs. First trimester of this school year for freshmen, 64 of the 211 students accounted for the 232 Ds and Fs. So the amount of students uh, went down, but the rate of Ds and Fs still remained pretty high. Um, so that was one of the formative assessments. Another one was the eight-point grit survey. This was the uh, school-wide survey that we gave to students that they could get uh, where they took a, an eight-question test or a survey that allowed them to get a score um, that showed their own level of grit. Um, and this was a score between one and five. Five meaning that you were, that shows that you're high, you had the highest level of grit, and one meaning that you, didn't, you weren't very gritty uh, when it came to your work ethic and um, ability to overcome challenges. And as you can see here, the freshman average out of the entire freshman, or out of the entire school, was 3.45. The sophomores came in the lowest at 3.35. Um, and then the juniors and seniors average score was 3.62 and 3.61. So that was one of the things that we used to help guide us through this project. More specifically, during the freshman focus uh, pro program, um, the students did individual goal setting. This is an example of one of the goals that one of the students wrote. Um, by the end of freshman focus, I will increase my math grade by at least 10%. Students wrote these out. We put these up in the classroom that they did their freshman focus program in so that every day when they'd come in for the program, they would see their goals on the wall. We didn't have their names on them because they wanted to remain anonymous, but students knew uh, what their goal was and so they could see those on a daily basis to help kind of remind them of what they were working towards. We also did individual conferences with them. I or some of the teachers working in the um, freshman focus program met individually with the students to talk to them, talk to them about um, just how they were doing in school, what their struggles were, where they needed the most help, and how we could help them get to a point at the end of the term where they could be successful. Um, we also had individual progress reports. This happens on a school-wide level. They came in at three weeks, six weeks, and nine weeks. So students would get those, and we could look at those, and, and that would really help us guide where students needed to get the most help in terms of their academics. One of the coolest things that we did in the freshman focus program is that every time we came to do a mini lesson with uh, the students in the freshman focus, the first thing we did was a stoplight check-in. We had a red light, a yellow light, and a green light. And what we had students do, and they didn't put their names on or anything, but they just wrote down on a sticky note, what was one of the things that they struggled with during the previous week? And so students would put things on there um, I struggled in math, or taking a math test, or turning in my homework. Um, and then the next part was the yellow light, and this was a chance to celebrate some successes. What well, was something that went well for you? And this was pretty cool to see. Um, you know, you, somebody would write on there, I passed a test I haven't passed all year in terms of my math uh, standard, or um, I'm turning in homework, or I came to school on time every day last week. 
And so this was a chance for kids to reflect back and look at what their successes were. And finally, the green light was, what is the thing that's going to be the most challenging thing for them in the week ahead? And so it was an opportunity for them to think ahead a little bit about their week and where their biggest challenges was, were going to be. And I'm, a majority of the things that we saw in here always would center around um, the subject area of math. And I'll talk a little bit about math as I go through this and the challenge that math presented for a lot of the students. Um, finally, the last thing was the summative evaluation, or excuse me, moving into the summative evaluation process now, <laughs> excuse me, uh, this is the student worth ethic evaluation that we gave to teachers at the beginning of Freshman Focus and at the end of Freshman Focus. And it was just a, a four question survey, class readiness, student produced work demonstrates quality and precision, perseverance in completing classwork and tasks, and demonstrates the ability to problem solve. We asked these four questions and they got rated on a four point scale, one, two, three, and four, ineffective, developing, effective, and accomplished. And um, we use that as our, our pre-data and our post-data um, for all of these students. And again, we gave this to the teachers where the students struggled most with. So if a student had an F or a D in math in the previous term, that's the teacher we went to um, to give this survey to. Looking at the results of that um, from the pre to the post, um, this was the increase that we saw or decrease on the work ethic difference um, from the beginning from the beginning to the end. Um, this was a, um, on the scale from one to two. So as you can see, a lot of the students had some level of increase in their work ethic, but it wasn't necessarily grand in terms of um, increasing um, to, a, to a new level. But if you actually look at that from a different angle, their pre versus their post, you can actually see where they started and where they finished. So for some students, for example, they were already at a level three with their worth ethic, work ethic in the classroom. So they were effective and they actually increased to a four or they stayed in the, between the developing and effective range um, and didn't increase significantly, but as they would get higher up, that's more um, challenging to do in terms of increasing this in terms of what we asked on the survey. But overall, you saw a lot of students increase their work ethic. So you might be thinking about, okay, so how does this translate now to um, student grades? Uh, this is where I think our failure with the freshman fo focus program and maybe the, um, where the goal that I had set for this um, didn't necessarily translate for us. The blue is the GPA difference from first trimester to second trimester, and the yellow is their work ethic average. And so if you look, a lot of students increased their work ethic and had high levels of work ethic, but it didn't necessarily translate to um, a, a difference in their GPA. And I can talk a little bit about, about that for these reasons. And I guess that gets me now to my summary of challenges. Um, the freshman focus program was the biggest challenge out of my entire project. Uh, the program lacks accountability. It lacks rules and expectations. Uh, there's no follow through on attendance. And there's not enough buy-in from all staff in the school for this program. For example, a lot of the department policies that we have in place prevented students from turning in late work. So a lot of students would be working hard on something and they'd go to turn it in and they wouldn't be able to get a grade for it, which was disappointing. Um, on another level, uh, math. Math is the biggest challenge. Math at College Grove High School is standards based. So if you don't pass your standards, you don't pass the class. And so a lot of students struggle with passing the math standards. Um, they also increase the rigor this school year and students um, are not coming in according to the teachers that I've spoken to in the math department are not coming in prepared enough from middle school to be successful. And so a lot of the kids GPAs and grades um, struggled because they were not uh, passing their math classes. And math seems to be the biggest challenge out of this entire um, program when working with these students in the freshman focus program. So just a quick summary of successes. Um, we had small individual successes throughout this program. Students um, on those weekly check-ins and celebrating with the stoplight check-in, um, they were having successes and they were um, getting excited about those things and we tried to celebrate those on um, every time we met in our freshman focus program. Um, a couple of students would walk up to me and tell me about how they passed their math standards test or that um, they worked hard on a test and it, it, they ended up getting the highest grade on their math score. Or some teachers would come and tell me um, that that was the result that um, a student in the class who had traditionally not been doing well actually started to pass her test. So we had individual successes. In addition to that, 
We also had um, some school-wide buy-in. Um, the, the, the administration, the counselors, they're buying into this idea of grit and growth mindset in the classroom. Um, they're incorporating the advisory le into their advisory lessons, and then the video stories we're showing in main events. So we're getting that um, buy-in. We're also laying down um, the foundation for future work and growth mindset in the school district. And I think it started this year, but I think there's a lot of work to still do in it. Um, but we laid the foundation down on that. And finally, we've started a conversation amongst staff in the school and the district and students. They're starting to understand the concept of growth mindset, what grit is in the classroom, and they're talking about it. Um, and so it's becoming more and more regular um, amongst students and staff. Impact on student achievement. Um, School-wide, I think we're seeing an impact because people are talking about it. We're seeing the posters in the classroom um, and teachers are changing their practices. Um, but I think we're failing in terms of student achievement. And I think my data shows that with um, where my goals were and what the data shows. I think we're failing with the most at-risk kids. It's more than just, a, um, we can't just focus on grit with them and think that we're gonna get the results. Uh, there's an attendance interventions that need to be more focused um, changing the freshman focus format. A lot of those things I talked about, the lack of accountability or the attendance to a freshman focus can be changed um, with a little guidance, a little bit more leadership in that um, specific program. And I think that's a problem there. Um, and then I think the PBIS program that we have in place needs to evolve more. We're kind of in the first year of it. And I think as that evolves more, more and more students are gonna get involved and, and have uh, um, be impacted by the PBIS program. I just want to conclude my presentation today, and this is my daughter. She was born two weeks before we started our program two years ago, and we've all changed and had a lot of challenges along the way. And I just want to commend everybody for their efforts with their, pro with their projects and this process that we've went through. This is what she looks like today, um, and I, I pulled these pictures out today. I'm just thinking this is what the last two years have kind of encompassed for me, and I've watched my daughter grow, but we've also been going through this program and growing as students. Um, becoming better learners and in hopes becoming um, great future administrators. So I just want to commend everybody. Good job. Thank you for listening to my presentation today.